So I watched Expendables 4 or Expend f Expend for Bulls for bu for Bulls for for bu Expendables 4. I watched it in cinemas, and can I say I am so disappointed. <laughs> This is a franchise which I held very close to my heart. Why? Because I am a massive 90s, 80s, even 70s action fan. I loved all the movies growing up, including Chuck Norris's, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and many more. And to think this is the fourth installment of the franchise, you'd think they at least know and realize that things are messed up in the previous movies. I would say the first one is the best one out of all of them. It had nostalgia, big names, it felt like a love letter to 80s and 90s action films. Directed by Sylvester Stallone, he knew what he was doing. Fast forward two years later, he had Expendables 2. A decent follow up with even more action stars, of course without the profanity, but with the violence. That was the only clause Chuck Norris had. And then you had Expendables 3 and you got rid of everything entirely by making a PG-13. No blood, no gore, no profanity. It just ruined what Expendables actually was about. And that is creating this high adrenaline, high testosterone, action-packed movie with men with big muscles, <laughs> explosions and gunfire. And now you got Expendables 4, which I think is very close with number 3 of being one of the worst films in the franchise. It was no surprise that Sylvester Stallone was going to be hardly in the movie because even his name, in the title cards was right at the back. Jason Statham was the one who carried this movie. He had more charisma, he had more screen presence. And it's a shame as well because it looks like the original Expendables members, they all felt like they were bored and they didn't even want to be there. Granted, age has caught up to them, not Megan Fox. Everyone else felt like age has got to them. They didn't want to be there. It's an easy paycheck. It's directed by Scott War. This is where I realized that this film was going to be a big mistake, especially with him directing it. This is where I realized this movie wasn't going to be as good as I thought. If you watch the movie called Hidden Strike, starring Jackie Chan and John Cena, you realize the heavy use of CGI and green screen. And when I saw the trailer for Expendables 4, I was very reluctant to even enjoy it because of the fact that you had a lot of green screen and it is very noticeable. The best part of the movie is literally Tony Jaa and Eco Always, two massive action stars in the international cinema. If you have not seen Ong Bak, The Protector, The Raid franchise, Headshot, The Night Comes For Us, these are great action movies and it felt like Tony Jaa and Eco Waste couldn't do all the stunts that they wanted to do because no one can actually keep up with them. The unflattering use of cinematography, the rush edits, it just felt like a rushed movie in general. And for the marketing, you also had a trailer which was stating the fact that this movie is going to be R-rated and it felt like they're trying to force that upon us because they realized how bad the movie was going to be and the only thing that was going to probably save it was the R-rating. But nope. The blood and violence didn't save it. It just felt like a cheesy action B movie. And it's an absolute shame. If I had someone to direct it, I swear to God, I would rather have Sylvester Stallone direct the final movie. There are rumors that Expendables 5 is going to be in the works. We gotta see how this film does in the box office. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't see it making that much money. So yeah, I don't rate Expendables as much as I thought. If I was going to rank all the Expendables movies from worst to best, it'd be Expendables 3, Expendables 4, Expendables 2, and Expendables 1. Have you seen Expendables 4? What did you think of it? Do you think it's better than the previous installments? Or do you think it's one of the best action films of this year?